Hi, I'm Sean from Lucky Orange, and today we're talking about how to make better CTAs using dynamic heat maps. Let's get into it. This is a Lucky Orange dynamic heat map. It's dynamic because it shows you how people interact with the dynamic elements of a page, like forms, pop-ups, and navigation dropdowns. Here are two quick steps you can take today to improve your CTAs and increase conversions. Number one, find the effective fold. This spot on the page represents the space where 50% of your website visitors on average are scrolling. See where your CTA is compared to this point on the page. If it's above, you're good. If it's below, consider moving it up or adding another CTA above this point. Number two, find the top clicked elements on your page. Are they what you'd expect? Are there some that rank above your CTA? If there's other items on the page that are ranking above the CTA outside of the main navigation, you might consider removing them, moving them, or just adjusting the page so that they don't distract from the main goal of the page, the CTA. Website optimization doesn't have to be difficult. So pull up a heat map and get started. We're always here if you have any questions.